Welcome once again to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Final conversation this morning is, uh, of course, uh, with the new Inspector General of Police and his directive uh, to suspend uh, twin t uh, tinted glass permits for vehicles across Nigeria. Uh, this morning, we're speaking with uh, Femi Lawson, a public affairs analyst. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good morning. Good, morning. good to see you. All right. Oh, well, good to hear from you. Um, th this, you know, like I said this a couple of days ago, it's, it's like clockwork for every new inspector general of police. Um, either banning tinted uh, permits or uh, banning roadblocks or withdrawing policemen from VIPs across the country. Happens with every new IG. Um, but it doesn't seem like a lot changes. So what's your reaction to this new order? Is it going to be, you know, in any way different from the last one? Well, I would not even want to call this a new order. We can only say, you can best describe this as, you know, a repeat of an existing manuscript that has actually been permanently, you know, placed, uh, placed on the table of every Inspector General of Police that has a position in Nigeria. You know, I cannot recall that for a very long time before now, Every Inspector General of Police that has assumed position and withdrew, you know, police only from politicians and VIPs. They have all withdrew, you know, spy number plates and they all, you know, banned the usage of tinted glasses. So, so I think this is not a new order. But why we have continued to have successive leadership of the police coming to recreate this position? is because the police as an institution has continued to fail in, you know, in enforcing the laws as a law enforcement organization. I can tell you that the IG should be more worried about the conduct you know, of policemen in the police force rather than the use of tinted glasses, spy number plates and the like. I can tell you for free this morning that if you drive a well-tinted, very dark you know, vehicle across any checkpoint today, there are tendencies that you will receive more salutes than more questioning from policemen who have been deployed on the road because of the culture of bribe taking and inefficiency. So I think the IGP should be more interested in entrenching discipline and training you know, in the police force, rather than the repeat of disorders that the Nigerians are tired of hearing. All right, so Mr. Lawson, uh, to the, the bone of contention here regarding the IGP order to, you know, ban or suspend the issuance of tinted glasses permits, how have tinted glasses been abused in Nigeria? Or how does it, or in any way, inhibit the work of law enforcement officers? Because this is what the IGP uh, said, you know, as his, as his reason for banning them. And what, that, that, that's the fact. You understand that many people have used, you know, the cover provided by these tinted glasses to perpetrate crime, you know, other crime, to beat, you know, security checks over the time. But the question is efficient security is not guaranteed by how well covered the perpetrators are or not. Security is more of intelligence, is more of you know, information gathering. It is not just about being able to unravel actions that are taking place in dark spots or other tinted glasses. So I think the police should be more interested in intelligence gathering and how we can curb crimes and other form of criminality in this country by working with the citizens, by gathering information from the citizens, and by doing, you know, standard, you know, security practices, rather than just, you know, limiting our focus on, you know, tinted glasses and the uh, you know, police point on that place. Do you think there's ever going to be an answer to a problem that you mentioned? You know, you said the, the idea of police should be more focused on the attitude of the police towards, uh, you know, their work and uh, bribery and corruption and some of all of that. Do you believe that there would ever be uh, a time when that is, you know, fixed? Well, the truth is that until, until not only the police as an institution, but until the government itself, is ready to reform what we call the policing system in Nigeria. You see, all these 
fire brigade approach and shortcut attempts will lead us to no way. They will lead us to no way in finding solution to the myriad of insecurities that are confronting us as a nation today. So it requires more than you know this what I described as fire brigade approach by the police or other security agencies to tackle the question of insecurity in the land. It's a systemic issue. It's an institutional issue. And it is not what one man decree, you know, or, or order can solve. That is the reality. Hmm. So now the IGP statement and orders is for immediate clampdown on those who have tinted permits. It says anyone who has tinted permits, who has tinted glasses on their cars should be arrested. But this is a law or, or an order he just gave uh, a, day, a, a day or two ago. Don't you think that it should have been time to, you know, sensitize Nigerians? Because I don't think it's everyone who's, who's aware about this. Don't you think they should have given time uh, you know, notified Nigerians, given them time to change their glasses, instead of ordering them to be immediately arrested, because, you know, this would definitely uh, breed the corruption we're talking about, you know, stopping them at police that, checkpoints. That, 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 that is why I described this as a fire brigade approach. Let me tell you one thing for free. The police are not going to arrest a good number of people for using synthetic glasses even without permit. Hmm. As I speak to you, there are a lot of people who have been using these Tinted glasses, even without police permit, where even when a lot of us were on the queue, you know, at the various police formations, trying to capture our biometrics to, to, uh, you know, to get these tinted glass permits, or vehicles that have come with tinted glasses that we bought over here. But the question is this the IG order has only opened another window of opportunity for the rank and file of the police to extort ordinary Nigerians. You know, who are found to be using tinted glasses. Mm. I can tell you that nobody will be prosecuted for this. If going by the antecedent of operations of the Nigerian police, the men on the roadblocks across the map, it's going to become a war for you now to travel between Lagos and the Southeast, where you have to come across tens of numbers of, you know, of, of checkpoints because you have to pay bribe in all these checkpoints because you now have a, a tinted glass on your vehicle without police permit. So it's just another point of, open, of opening, you know, a window of bribe for people mm. because police have not demonstrated any seriousness in the past, you know, to prosecute people who are violating this so-called order. I must also remember, as I said, the IG order, police order are not laws. Uh, people can only be prosecuted on the basis of laws that are existing in our paper. It is not enough. Anybody can just wake up and give an order. But we must look at how we can put every of these aspirations or orders of the police or other police agencies into our law so that people can be seen to be violating existing law, not violating ID orders. That is the truth. Oh, well, I, I, I think this is a good point that you just moved into now. Um, so what it means is that you cannot really be arrested for having tinted glasses because there's no actual law um, against it. You can't be charged, you know, for that. But can your vehicle be impounded? You know, you see, even impounding vehicle, a lot of times it has been challenged in court, not only, not only against the police, even against the road safety court and other agencies. See, it requires another of the court. So even see the mobile phone, you understand, from a citizen, we are, we are not in a banana republic where one person, because he has, you know, a gun or have access, you know, to a government institution, can just decree or that, make decrees that, you know, get a citizen's property impounded. If you are going to be impounding vehicles, are you willing to approach the court to get an order of the magistrate or the icon, whatever, or whatever, to impound these vehicles? Look at what has become of vehicles that have been impounded by police formations across the country in the past. They are all there rustling, rustling because no other, either by, you know, marketing the ones that was given if at all anyone was given, seizing these properties. And police end up, you know, auctioning some of them at ridiculous prices. Some get rotten in these police formations without being able to, with owners being able to recover it. So uh, we must continue to emphasize on the need for our institutions to operate by law not by the wishes or aspirations of the leader, be it the governor, the president, the special general police, managing director, or whoever. We must operate this country, you know, under law, not under the wishes 
of female of individual. Okay, so um, back to the, 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 the matter. The IGP is saying he's ordering the suspension of you know, tinted glasses permits and saying Nigerians should not do this for security reasons. But you mentioned also that there should be a focus on intelligence because when we try to look at the other side of the coin, there's actually benefits to using tinted glasses. You know, it, it makes your car cool, um, protects the upholstery, um, just prevents you from, you know, getting exposed to direct sunlight and all of that. So should the, F, should the focus now not be on intelligence gathering and not just, you know, saying... Tinted permits are suspended. Yes, and yes, yes, that is what security should be about. Security should not be about the number of guns or ammunition. Because if security should be determined by the number of might, you know, military might or firearm that a country you know can procure or possess, I think Nigeria should be one of the most secure countries today. This is mm -hmm. a country where you can hardly work on any street without seeing one policeman, one soldier, or whoever, carry rifles, even on motorcycles. But today, we live in one of the most insecure you know, societies in the world. Only yesterday, there was a report you know, equating Lagos to Damascus as one of the most unsafe places to live on head. And does it mean Lagos does not have enough number of policemen? Is there a bus stop, a street that you get to in Lagos today that you don't find the presence of the police? But the question is that we have been investing little or nothing in intelligence gathering, which is key to nipping crime in the board. Mm. In this case, we are always waiting for crime to be perpetrated, but before you find our policemen running up and that, no. What are we doing to ensure that these crimes are not perpetrated? And that is the word essence of intelligence gathering. Are we able to nip these criminals? before they try. That is the essence of intelligence gathering. And I think our security institutions must begin to invest more in intelligence gathering and cooperation with the citizens. You understand? In order to address our security challenges. I can assure you that no number of amateurs, girls, or whatever this country can procure can solve this problem if we don't begin to invest in the mental capacity, in the intelligence capacity of our security operatives. It is not like going around with guns and amateurs. All right. Um, so from, from what you've said, does it mean that Nigerians um, should resist any questioning or harassment with regards to tinted uh, uh, glasses simply because there's no actual law that, you know, um, is uh, made available to prosecute them or prosecute Nigerians for using tinted glasses? What should, be, what should be the response of a Nigerian who is accosted by the police at a checkpoint um, for having tinted glasses? The, the, my first advice is that, based on our experience, and uh, if you look at the issue of Nigeria police that has more to do with you know, human rights violations and police brutality, I would encourage Nigerians, whenever they come across police, whether at checkpoint or wherever, to always listen and respond to their questions. What I'm opposed to is anybody paying bribe under any guy to anybody under the guise of wanting to enforce the police order on the permit. I also want to encourage the police and the institution to do more in legitimizing some of these orders. We are in a democracy, we are not in a military rule. And when these are done, this must be brought to the consciousness of the citizens as much as possible. We must understand that this, you are in position today because of the citizens. You are responsible for the citizens and you should consult yourself as Lord over the citizens because we are the ones paying your you know, salaries and wages as taxpayers. Yep, Mr. Lawson. I think, I would not say citizens should be deviant, but police for the civil, citizens for the civil, and all must follow due process. Yeah. So, 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 what, what would you say? Yeah. So, what would you say is this due process? If, if you're driving, for example, if you're driving in a friend's car t uh, tomorrow, or your car, uh, sometime today, and you, you know you're stopped by the police and questioned about tinted glasses, what would your response be? If, for instance, after an order has been given, after the day that order was given, I can tell you for free that people were still at the various police command, no filing application. You know, for the use of tinted permit, you understand that if you come to the Lagos State Police Command, 
in Kenya here. Yeah. You can find this happening almost every every hour. People finding you know requests. Most of the vehicles that are brought into this country today, particularly the sport utility vehicles, you know, come with factory fitted tinted glasses. So by implication, are you saying if I purchase a car that has been brought into Nigeria today with factory fitted you know tinted glasses? Will I have to stop using the car because of the police order? So, no. So, there was a window given for people to, who have this to use their vehicles, and that when the property is done and the due process is late, like the IGP has promised, that people then should go and apply, you know, for the use of this glasses. But it cannot restrict people from moving, you know, with the government's right of movement, it's a constitutionally guaranteed right, because you think uh, they are driving vehicles into tinted glasses. I don't think that would be a violation. I think that would be a violation you know, of the constitutional rights right. of the people. All right, Femi Lawson, thank you very much uh, for your time this morning. Thanks for, you know, um, bundling this uh, conversation for us. Thank you. Good to you once again. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, you know I, I personally never even thought about it that way. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not law. You know, there's oh, no yeah. actual law. Just like the Twitter um, ban, it was just a yeah. declaration. You know, so anybody can wake up tomorrow morning and say, uh, no more pepper in your stew. Um, it, that's what, that's, it's pretty much similar. Yes, I understand, oh, you know, the security implications for, you know, these um, um, uh, pronouncements by the IGP. So police uh, will come much check your thing. stew. Yeah, so they might wake if up anybody, pepper, it's pretty much same with anybody waking up to say, you know, oh, you know, pepper is no longer good for Nigerians. So, you know, use only tomatoes to make stew. And then... It, it automatically doesn't become law. You can't be arrested for that because there's no law uh, with which you be charged. But, but you know that most times when you when you listen to or read statements from press releases from the police, you hear the IGP has ordered, the state command has ordered, ordered, ordered. There is actually no law. But you know the kind of country you live in, just like he said, that mm. he would have given so to advice. But when he takes into consideration the human rights violations by the Nigerian police force, what, can, what really can you say? Yeah. At the point of altercation, they can pull out a gun and just shoot you dead. That's this why, is Nigeria. That's why I had to ask the question, what should be the response of a Nigerian when you're asked questions comply, concerning your yes, comply yes. to do what exactly now to take the tinting off because but, but at that see, point you, he said it already this is just an avenue for all really it opens up an avenue for police officers to extort nigerians because when you see um when a police officer sees someone with a tinted glass i mean just like i mentioned no time was given they didn't say nigerians are given the next 30 days 60 days to make sure that they get permits or if, the, if it's possible to change the glass, you know, nothing. The statement from the IGB says immediate clamp down. So if I have a tinted glass, what do I do? I shouldn't drive, I should take an Uber, or what do I do? So it's just, it's just like he says, opens up an avenue for the police to begin to extort Nigerians. Best so case scenario, can you actually be taken to court? Can you actually be charged with something? Thank God Justin's strike is over, so maybe. Oh, yeah. oh, no, it's <laughs> but that's it here on The Breakfast. Join us and uh, contribute your quarter on Facebook and Instagram. You can also comment in the comment section of our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa Everywhere. My name is Anetta Felix. Thank you for joining us this morning. And I am Osaogi Ogboa. See you at nine.